Hi everyone, welcome to Easy Surveys where we make your survey practices to be easier. Alright, so from our last series on how to go about topographic surveying to produce a topo map, alright, we showed us on how to run script and create different layer properties here. So if you are just joining us for the first time, please refer back to our first series on project one so in this video we are going to show you show you on how to um, come about the particular boundary line for our um, area of interest for our topo map so here we are here we are and just follow us um, carefully so we are going to be drawing the particular boundary line and that is going to be under so that is going to be under the BDL so boundary line so we are going to come to our layer so here we can decide to edit it to BDL okay so let it be boundary line all right so I double clicked on it to check that but in case you are confused about how that happened if it is on test all right then you can click on it then right click then you set it as current because we want to work with the boundary line now we want to create a boundary line for our map so you set that on the BDL layer so that we can work on the boundary line so how that works is just that way so we are going to create the boundary line now by going to polyline all right you click on it then you can decide to start from BDP one that is boundary point one you can see this sniping um, two um, is activated with the green so you can just click on it at the center click on it as well then make sure you are going clockwisely all right don't go anti-clockwisely when you are plotting a plan all right go clockwisely no matter where you start from if you are start, starting from BDP 2 make sure you go clockwise from BDP 2 to 3 then to the um, last very point so I'm starting from BDP 1 alright so I went from 1 to 2 and I'm going from 2 to 3 then I can zoom out so that you can see 2 4 to 5 Make sure your sniping tool is activated to 6. Then I am ending it at BDP 1. Alright. So that is how you plot your plan. Go clockwisely. Then when you end at the starting point, you click on enter. Then you can click on here, which is zoom extent. Okay. So this is our boundary point. Remember your boundary line if they are denoted with a red line. Okay. So you click on the particular line or you can decide to come here. All right. Then you go to the particular box here to change it to red. All right. So it is now red. So we are going to show you on how to label this particular boundary line. So just follow us carefully. So we have a road here, which is uh, the part of detail. So the road is a part of detail. So we want to just plot the road quickly and you make sure you set your particular uh, layer to what you want to work on so it is detail now on detail so we are going to quickly plot that for detail so we are going to let's use body line all right so this one do not need maybe coming from clockwise or not just join it the way it is from here to here to here to the very last end so then you click on enter so you can decide to delete this test we do not need it again we make use of the points scripted points and that is for the road so we can offset that all right we are going to offset it because a road should have two sides all right so to offset you just type o f all right offset 
okay you click on the line then you can see it's giving us an option 0. 0. 0.00 so you can just decide to type the particular width length so the width length is going to be for the standard road length is 8.9 or you can decide to approximate it to 9 then you click on okay when you click on enter you click on it so it's going to offset it to the exact 8.9 then you can click on enter and so you see that you click on enter or you just click on your your left click on your mouse so we are going to go by that then we are going to label our boundary line so how to label the boundary line is so easy all you have to do if you are using polyline if you've used polyline to join the points together all right this is how to go about you labeling the boundary line manually on AutoCAD so to label to, to label your boundary line so you come to utilities you come to the measure drop down arrow there you click on it then you come come to distance you click on distance so the tools will be activated then you click on the first the way you you run and connect the line initially is the way you are going to go about labeling as well so you click on this particular first bpa one which is a boundary point one then you drag down to boundary point two okay you click on it so it's going to bring you the um dimensions so for you to see what you are going to copy out you come to this particular command history um arrow here you click on it then you can notice here you have distance okay this is the distance and angle in xy plane this is the information we needed okay so you do not need angle from xy plane you need distance so we are just going to copy this out to the particular bearing okay the angle then you right click then you can just copy or you can just decide to click on control um, p which is control c rather which is copy so when you are done with that make sure you now go to your um, layer properties then activate test so your labeling should be under test so we are going to set that as current okay so we are now going to uh, going to paste by clicking on control v on our keyboard so when you click on that you are going to have the test um, popping up then you right click uh, you double click on it then you are just going to start editing which is distance is meter small letter all right so your distance should be below while your angle should be above your distance should be below or inside your traverse while your angle or bearing should be above the traverse okay so we are going to do that by putting that hand clicking on enter to be limiting so here if you see we have d so we want that d to be degree all right so you can just edit that by coming to symbol here click on it then you can see degrees you click on it so we are going to have degrees there so you can now highlight everything inside the test box then you can center it okay then you can decide to space it then you can make this to be different by color right which is red i like everything make sure everything is highlighted okay red then you can decide to make it bold and if you are working or you love a particular test font you can decide to choose it but in this case we'll be working with the area so that is how to edit for this particular line from pp1 um, btp1 to btp2 so this is the angle and that is the um, distance so we can now click on move to move it on okay then we write you click on it to make the rotation to align with the line so you can see then you move it to be to be beautiful this way so you can see the side to rotate it perfectly 
so let it fall perfectly in line all right so it is good this way so we are now going to do for the next line from bp bdp2 to bdp3 which is point 0.2 to point 0.3 the same way we did for point 0.1 to point 0.2 is what we are just going to do so here now we are now starting from point 0.2 then you click to point 0.3 enter so you can see the dimension you come here as well copy the distances out then you edit the same way we did from boundary point one to two and you can click on paste click on it edit it to meter so we want this to be above all right you can cut it so this is a manual way of labeling there is an automatic way of labeling as well so when we come to that stage we are still going to show you on how to do the automatic labeling all right so we are going to make it red as well the boundary line should be red and we can still make it bold lighten them up so we are just going to move that to its respective line then change the rotation right to align remember the distances should be inside the traverse while the bearing should be outside so let's zoom to see that so if the test is not bold enough so if you can see if it's not bold enough you can click on it then you can just click on everything all right click on the particular test then go to quick properties to make them bold so it is still considerable enough so we do not need to change that so that is how you will label for point three to four as well so therefore we've done the same for the rest of the other points all right so we are just doing for the last one so in case you are not working with AutoCAD 2021, perhaps you are working with other lower versions of AutoCAD and you want to bring out your degree out and you, you couldn't find this at icon here, okay, all you have to do on your keyboard is to press on shift, okay, then you click on percent on your keyboard, alright, your percent is in, um, key number five so you click click on shift steady that is shift plus percent percent then when you have this then you just type d that is click on d on your key uh, board so just click on d and it's going to bring out the degree sign for you just the code that you saw here all right percent percent and d if you automatically changed to degree so that is how we are going to do that then you are now going to change rotation so that it can, it can align well with the boundary uh, line so here we go so that is how to label points all right uh, to label the boundary lines then quickly we are just going to add a pillar on this particular points so to add the pillar you go to uh, the utilities as well then you go to point styles right point styles you can decide to choose any of the pillar so let's choose the default size here if it is too big you can reduce it if it is too small you can increase it then if it is on relative click on um, set unit to absolute unit then you click on ok so to now bring the pillar points make sure you go to the layer properties and activate it to pillars all right the beacon number set it to the current so that you can have those data on that so you can on your command line here just type po that is point all right so it's going to pop out the point in the first place first place you click on it then you can just decide to now click on the point so you can see let me zoom out so that is the pillar for this so you, you do the same thing for others PO click on enter then click on it so that is how you are going to put the pillar uh, on each point so guys that is all for series 2 on uh, our topo project project 1 so we showed you on how to label the boundary lines and as well as plot it so thank you for watching see you 
on series three.